So you see, normally I would have done a crazy cringe intro right now to this video because you know I am a little energized. However, it is currently 11:48 p.m. on Wednesday, July 24th. My family, for the most part, is asleep. I'm tired, so we're not going to do that. But in other news, um, thanks for 100 subscribers. Um, I'm gonna make a pinned comment, and you guys can use this video to ask me whatever questions you want for the 100 subscriber. Dang, 100 subscriber special. But other than that, welcome to today's video. Hey guys, as you can see in this video, if it wasn't blatantly obvious to you by now, I was extremely tired. So if you see me stumbling over my words more than usual, now you know why. Anyways, um, thanks for 100 subscribers and Q&A out soon. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? I know it's uh, a little late, and by a little late, I mean extremely, very, very late, you know? Probably wondering, why am I awake right now? Mm -hmm. Hopefully this video won't come out as late as I recorded it. Who am I kidding? It won't. It won't. I'm, I'm too smart for this chat. Good night, everyone. Hope you're all having a good time. Sorry I hadn't uploaded in a bit. You know, life was lifing. Had a couple gigs to take care of. Um, you know, all I can say is God did. I'm glad to be back here today and I just want to come out here real quick and talk to y'all about something that I've been thinking about lately. I've been thinking about my life as of late. For those of you who don't know, I know the lack of facial hair may make it a little more believable, but I'm actually 19 years old. Boy, if you don't get- You know, if you've seen me in other videos, I look like I'm in my mid-twenties, but in fact, friends, I'm only 19 years old. But in my 19 years of life, I've done some things that, when looking back at, you know, I probably shouldn't have done those things. Done those. I've said things about N2 people that when looking back, you know, I probably, probably shouldn't have said, have said To avoid embarrassing myself and others, I'm not really gonna get too into details, but just know I've said and done some things. Maybe you know me personally, maybe you've seen that I've said and done some things that looking back on, I would never do now. But I was thinking about that and a quote came to mind. It was, um, <clears throat> hindsight is 2020. And the meaning of hindsight is 2020, as far as I know, is that one is usually able to see things more clearly after they have happened. You know, for example, I guess I'll use an example from my life. You know, <laughs> um, I know that there have been times where I've talked to people the wrong way, or talked about people the wrong way, and, and in the moment, I couldn't really see it. But looking back on it, I realized that, you know, I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have approach that person in the wrong way maybe some of those people are even watching that right now in that case um if you know you are hi bruh i learned my lesson hopefully bombastic side eye criminal offensive side anyways right you know maybe i've hung out with certain people and i was realized that i shouldn't have done that i've definitely made that mistake before or maybe you've tried to talk to a girl but you just completely fumbled the bag i would know because i've done that before um that's a story I i'm not really sure i should tell all i can tell you it's a very embarrassing story but you know things like that right and you look back on it and you're like wait a second i could do that again i wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have talked to her like that you know i wouldn't have played that game i wouldn't have hung out with those people i wouldn't have gotten myself involved in that drama you know and that's part of the concept of hindsight is 2020 but you know in the research for this video basically granted due to the fallibility of human memory hindsight may not always be 2020 there is more on that subject but the crux of that powerful t t of the point is that is to understand that hindsight is a powerful tool that must be used properly if not it may cause one to gain an undue sense of clairvoyance or make them blame themselves for things in their past that were out of their control due to the lack of knowledge that they had at that time. I'll link the article down below. But you're probably wondering, right? If I were just to hinge my video on hindsight being 2020 and I've just read that hindsight really isn't 2020, what does this really mean? Well, friends, it means one thing. It means to tell this video. You can't change what happened 
but you can change what happens you see i believe that everything in your past happens for a reason it's crazy because i was actually talking to a really good friend of mine today um i don't know if she's watching this but if she is hi leah we talked about regrets and she told me she didn't have any regrets in life because she believed that everything in her life happened for a reason and i was thinking about that you know really deep i really was thinking about that i think that she's right you know i wrote such as in my notes as well but everything in your life happened for a reason for example right if let's just say you sped down on the turnpike right from my floridian brothers out there even my wiki brothers love y'all um let's just say you sped down the turnpike and you're just like <laughs> you're like driving your car like really fast right and you get caught lacking by the police you were going at 120 miles you could have killed someone right certainly you know you can't change that you suffer the consequences now you're probably getting a ticket you might have to call jayoma to get you out of this one um you know you know you might have to go to the courts and whatnot right you learn from that experience right because now you know hey i'm not gonna do that anymore i'm not gonna speed down the road anymore and in the context of hindsight is not 2020 we have to realize that I can't change what happened i can't go in the past and pretend that i never sped down i the turnpike the fact is i did there are consequences for me speeding down the turnpike that i'm gonna have to face i can't change that but i can change what happens now because i believe that at the end of every mistake that you've made every huge misstep that one is taken there is a choice there is something you can do and i think that if you want to really learn from your losses you know turn those losses into turn those l's into lessons here are some things that you can do for example you can reflect on what you did wrong look back on it i know i just said that oh human memory is fallible and whatnot but there are times where looking back on it you can understand where you went wrong and how not to make that misstep or mistake again right you can learn how not to do that again but you have to take the time to self-reflect to be self-aware that means sometimes you might have to sit down with yourself really think about that you might find that the way you approach that was wrong you know it might mean that you want to change the behavior patterns that led you up to that decision so that when other decisions come and face you you won't just succumb to the same pattern of decision making like this is something that i'm actively me personally actively doing in my life even right now y'all understand that's fine even right now i'm actively having to look at the line of thinking that might have got me to certain places and to change those lines of thinking so i don't go to those certain places again you feel me another thing you could do and i mean i literally just said that is you know when confronted with a similar situation behave differently i mean i literally explained why but for the people in the back having that new mindset and how to approach similar situations will allow you to make sure you don't make the same mistakes again so it's something like that as well and see because we are human and we are fallible sometimes we have to ask god for help and i'm not talking about any random god here i'm talking about the god of the bible jesus christ sometimes you need to go down in prayer and ask god for guidance you know because we know that through us we don't have all the answers but we believe in a god that has the answers a god that is willing to give you help that is willing to be your strength which is willing to be your source of knowledge turn to god if you want to learn from your lessons if you want to learn from what happened if you want to turn those l's into lessons learn to trust in god and trust in his plan for you because i promise you seeking god on certain things you'd be surprised by what revelation and what clarity he will give you but you have to put it all in his hands you know what i'm saying you have to put it all in his hands and finally and this is a really interesting one you really want to turn your l's into lessons use your l's to teach others who might be going through some of the same things you are who might be encountering some of the same pitfalls that you are and help them you know i mean we're here to help people right you don't just want to be a selfish sam you want to go out there and help people so to all of us who have learned from our mistakes let's influence those who look up to us those who are coming up after us to make sure that they don't do the same things that we did that they are able to grow 
in the areas that we were you know i find that in the things i'm doing right now i'm having to be that one to notice the pitfalls that a lot of the younger people who i talk to are undergoing and you know just being that encouraging voice to help them not to do that but instead to point them in a better direction to point them in a godly direction and i think that by doing that by having the self-awareness to understand where you messed up and knowing how your mistakes can help someone i believe that that would definitely be an ultimate marker that you have learned from your mistake to the point where you're able to teach others through your mistakes so that they don't make the same mistakes and my friends just remember you can't change what happened but you can change what happens so don't keep your head down don't live in the past okay past is the past the present is now and the future will come but don't worry about that live in the present moment okay learn from the past live in the present and yearn for the future because i'm telling you right now if you keep living in the past if you don't learn from your past you said you just wallow in it you're going to prevent yourself from progressing in the future don't ponder on the past but progress in the present now appreciate it because someday your present will become your past and someday the future will be the present so yeah um this is a very quick video um as i'm almost done recording this it is 12 a.m i don't know when this video is going to be out but it'll be out soon uh, until then thank you all for watching uh you want to check out my social check my link tree really appreciate it um you know at this point in terms of youtube subscribers love to get to 200 subs you know comment down below your questions for the q a and um i love all of you so much may god bless you may his peace be with you and yeah until the next video Bye.